All right, episode four, guys. Revival and Crane's Roost. So, we're gonna have some fun. People are gonna get touched. Man, y'all know I say that every time out here. It's really weird, huh? I gotta come up with something new and original, but I wanna be, <laughs> you know what's cool is I can be real and authentic, you know? I just come and start talking and you guys watch. And then cool things happen because, you know, Jesus likes to show up and he likes to heal people, deliver them, and you know, every now and then we'll see somebody hit the ground and be filled with the Holy Ghost. And I just, the Bible says the harvest field is ripe and the laborers are few. And I just happen to be one of those few. You know, let me talk to you guys about something I'm meditating on here lately. What I've come to find out is a lot of people live under the ministry of condemnation. And from living from that place, people seem to condemn others. I want to give you a real good, simple fact. And it's also true. Jesus Christ came to save the world, not condemn it. Saved people, save people, condemn people, condemn people. So let me encourage you, bring salvation, man. Tell people the good news. You don't have to scream at them and threaten them. And, uh, you know, reject them. They're already rejected. Just tell them they're awesome and you want to see them go to heaven because Jesus paid that price 2,000 years ago. Remember, your outside reality is your internal reality. If you're jacked up on the inside, your outside's going to be jacked up. If you look good on the inside, the outside's going to look good too. You know, the kingdom of God within and the kingdom of God all around. So, with that being said, subscribe and enjoy episode four of Revival in Crane's Roost. So he tells us who, who are who are believers to do the same thing he did and what did he do? He went around healing the sick, right? So okay. you're sick right now. Huh. You got a sick hip. I, I was told that I um my body's aching to go back to the gym. Yeah, Aww. probably. Yeah. But the hip needs to get good too, yes. so you can do yeah. squats, you know what I'm saying? Uh. <laughs> can I see your hand? She's gonna just put her hand right there. I'm praying in Jesus' name, okay? Damn, the whole right side is broken. <laughs> oh no. Wow. Okay. What's this? That's because this hurts. Oh, we gotta get you healed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Two figures. What's your name again? Amanda. Amanda. Okay. So, Father, we thank you for Amanda. Right now, in Jesus' name, we command this hip to be completely healed. I command right now this elbow to be healed too, right now. All that pain, Lord, in Jesus' name. And you do this because you love it. This is an act of love. So, Father, I pray right now, brand new hip, brand new arm. And I pray every spirit of pain that may have attacked her body to leave right now. We remove it in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Now, can you, you got to do an action now. Can you feel if it's different? Be honest with me. Well. You can be honest. That still hurts a little bit. Do we, is it a little bit better? Well, it's sore because I also went to a chiropractor, so they did something called grasping. Okay. Where they literally oh, rub, metal on, uh, rub a metal on it, so it's going to be sore. It's muscle sore. Yeah. But it was a pain, right? It is. It's a pain that goes into right here. But do you feel it down? Oh, it's still there or something. Let's do one more. One more. Just one more. Let's <laughs> check <you> Okay. Yes, <laughs> yes. Give me a hand. So, Father, we thank you for 100%. 100% in Jesus' name. We command that pain that shoots through her leg to go completely. We command her hips to line up, her back to line up. Yep, all the way. And all anxieties and stresses to go too, Lord. All anxieties and stresses to go in Jesus' name. Jesus' name. I'm also hearing that you're, I don't know if this makes sense, good at your job. <laughs> Does that make sense? Maybe, I don't know. It depends which one it is. Yeah, you're really good at what you do. I am a HR system analyst at day and I'm a life coach at night. <laughs> wow, so you are really good at your job. <laughs> yeah. So I try to help people 
for life coaching. Do you ever catch carry carry their burden sometimes? You catch yourself doing that? Not yeah, everybody else is, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and do you ever feel your shoulders get heavy from that? Oh, all the time. It's because you're probably carrying their problems, you know? Wow. The body reacts to stress, you know? Yep. So well let me pray that then. One more thing and you can go, I promise. Because <laughs> <laughs> Jesus loves you. Uh, Amen. Well, it feels a little better, but right, let's do that just to, you know. So, Lord, I know you showed, you'd at, told me to ask her that for a reason. I pray right now all the burdens that she carries from clients and for people around her and her job to leave. You say, cast your burdens upon the Lord. So we cast these burdens upon you, Lord, because you love her and your yoke is easy and your burden is light. So, Father, we just pray right now revelation in that area and we command those burdens to go and the stress and tension on her back to go and deeper relationship with you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. You're Thank awesome. you. Yeah. <laughs> Bless you, girl. Yeah. Thank you. Well, it's right here. The incision okay. is. Okay. So, Father, I thank you for your net. Right now, in Jesus' name, we just curse all this back pain right now. In Jesus' name, all the trauma from the car accident, I just command that to come right out of her back. Right now, in Jesus' name, all pain to lose so she can walk and work out with no pain. In Jesus' name, amen. Check it. Still the same? Actually, it's better? It's a little better. Yeah. We have to pray again. Yeah. Could be a working of miracles going on here. Yeah. Right now, 100% Father, show Yonette how much you love her, how much she's a daughter, and how much she's worthy to be 100% healed. So any pain and trauma from the car accident, we just command all of the rest of it to go right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. We believe you can get that mobility back. Oh, <laughs> What's something you couldn't do? Oh, well, I can't uh, bend, lift, or twist. Can you try a little? I can't twist at all. Can you try a little bit to see? Just a little bit? To do what? Twist. I mean... Just to make the belt, it's a bit hard. Hi! You couldn't really do that before, though? Well, I never tried. And now you're trying. The doctor said not to, so. <laughs> you got a bigger doctor to. <laughs> what if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. Mm. Maybe the birds will sing. Like you're really good at singing. Yeah. Huh? What do you say? Like, I can make a lot of stuff. Let, let me hear something. So, so. <laughs> Don't you know I'll sit around with my Oh, Come on, bro. That's bad, boy. I like that. Let me pray for you, man. Let me show you something cool, all right? You have an anointing on your life, man. It's special. It's strong. I saw it when I was standing there. You know what I'm saying? Watch. What's your name again? Keyshawn. Keyshawn, watch this. I'm going to show you how much the Holy Spirit's on you, man, and how much he wants to use you. Father, I thank you for Keyshawn. I want you to confirm something for him right now. I want you to confirm the big call you got on his life. So, Holy Spirit, I'm asking you right now. Touch him. No! More. More. Yeah. Touch his heart, Lord. <laughs> Alright, you know, feel that? What do you feel that in? Like, I feel it everywhere. In your heart. You familiar mm -hmm. with the presence of God, bro? Mm -hmm. You are? Yeah, I pray a lot. Yeah, man. Let me see something. Lord, I thank you for Keyshawn. I pray right now you remove every burden there that's holding him back. Every personal hold back. Even things from the past that would try to hold him back from stepping into his, his, his destiny that you planned for him from the beginning of time. I command right now, after today, Lord, he'll have music labels. He'll have people who contact him. I remove the devourer. I remove everything that would try to hold him back from destiny right now, Lord. I pray you bless Keyshawn and pull him forward right now. 
in Jesus name and Holy Spirit I know you're doing something special because his heart's beating real fast right now so father I thank you for Keyshawn's life and I thank you Lord that he's got a big big call to do some really big things with a lot of famous people use him Lord in Jesus name thank you so much thank you so much you have an awesome voice my friend thank you. you okay with being on YouTube oh yes <laughs> I wish you had somewhere you could like shout out you know what I'm saying Oh, so he wanted to shout you out. That's why he said that. Oh, like just my Instagram. shout your Instagram. Yeah, shout your Instagram. It's Legacy Official with two L's. Okay. <laughs> Y'all follow that man. This dude going big, baby. I know it. I feel it. I just know it. You know. That's crazy. Thank you man. so much. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Like, don't be okay. You know what I mean? Sometimes in life we get okay. Don't ever be okay with okay. You're not mediocre. You know what I'm saying? You're not a person that's gonna play in the background. You feel me? You're going the wrong way. I feel like I feel like I hear the Lord saying you're really good at cheering other people off. Yeah. <laughs> but it, but you you're not having that same energy for yourself. You know what I'm saying? So I think the Lord really wants me to encourage you that you got a lot more inside than you're giving yourself credit for. Man. You know, and I don't know why I'm seeing something with children. You know what I'm saying? I feel like there's something with the kids. The kids are really attracted to you. You know? <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. Told you. Huh? Yeah, I told you. There's something mm -hmm. with children, man. The Lord's gonna do something really big. I, can, I even hear like a, maybe you, you'll start a daycare somewhere one day. You know, that's gonna be a lot of money in that thing. Would you be good with that? Yeah. I, I, I know kids take a lot of patience, you know? How old are you? 16. Yeah, you're young, but I'm telling you, man, remember these things. Remember these times when God brings and puts people in front of your life? Because I may have just said something about a daycare, but later on in your life, you can have businesses, man, all over the place. And you can be thriving and moving because God wants you to do that. You know what I'm saying? And she's really good with kids. Yeah. Does it, um, nurse practitioner of all kids? Oh, yeah, bro. That's, That's what, what I want to be. <laughs> really? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So you could be in the pediatric thing. You can do any, anything with that. You know what I'm saying? That's cool. Let me pray for you. Jashar, you say? Yeah. Father, thank you for Jashar. Man, I'm really feeling this too. As soon as I took your hand, your heart's been broken, bro. <laughs> You've had a broken heart. I saw it in the spirit. I saw like your heart's been shattered down the middle. So Father, I pray right like you mend that broken heart. Don't let anybody take advantage of her vulnerability in life with that heart because you don't want to become hard with that. So Father, I pray right now you remove all snakes in her life and you bring only people who value her and see her as a princess. So Father, I pray you bless this girl and don't let anything pull her away from her destiny. But bless her in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Makes sense? Yeah. <laughs>